Hi everyone. If you are interested in the top things you should know before you move to the town of Fairfield, Connecticut, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Lockwood, your local realtor here in Fairfield, Connecticut, and I'm on today to give you top items that you need to know before moving to the town of Fairfield, Connecticut. If this is the first time to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. I have um, about six items I want to share with you of what you need to know before moving to Fairfield. The first two have to do with the state of Connecticut and then the remaining items have to do with Fairfield specifically. The first one is the weather. Be prepared for all seasons here in Connecticut. We have spring, summer, fall, and winter, and they do go to extremes. So in the spring, um, we do have kind of a rainy spring season. It can be cool. It takes a while to warm up here in Connecticut. So by the time June rolls around, we get some nice warm summer weather and it lasts until the middle of September. We can get from 80 to 90 degrees and we can get quite humid as well. And then we go right into the fall, which is my favorite time of year. Um, the weather gets cooler around 60 degrees, but the best thing is that we have the changing leaf season, which is really great when you go hiking and there's just some spectacular colors that you'll see here in Connecticut. Plus we're close to Vermont, New Hampshire, which are really quite incredible. So it's a short trip if you want to go hiking and do some um, leaf peeping up there. And then we go into our winter time, which can be cold. It's 20 to 30 degrees on average. There are some years where we have some really cold winters we could have snowstorms every other week or we could have no snowstorms at all i don't think it snowed at all last year and already we've had a snowstorm and it's mid-december and we've had eight inches of snow um, and it is true relating directly to fairfield that when you look at the town of fairfield anything north of the mayor parkway tends to get more inches of, sh of snow than the south. When you live down near the beach or center of town, you'll get less snow than somebody only 10, 15 minutes away. There, there's something about that Merritt Parkway line, and it is true, you do get more snow and colder weather just a little bit north of that. The second thing you need to know about Connecticut is that we do not have any national sports teams, but that's okay because we adopt our neighboring states teams. So here we're in southwestern Connecticut. Um, we're only an hour from New York, so I am a diehard New York Giant fan with my family. Grew up uh, a New York Giant fan. We're only an hour and 15 minutes to the stadium. We're only an hour from Yankee Stadium. And what happens around here, what tends to happen is if you're a New York Giant fan, you tend to be a Yankee fan. And if you are a New York Jet fan, uh, you tend to be a New York Met fan. Um, and there's quite a few of both around here, New York Jets and New York Giants. Also, Connecticut is in New England, so we do have a lot of New England Patriot fans and Boston Red Sox fans. So there's quite a mix here, and no matter what team you root for, we are quite passionate about it. Number three is the trains. I mentioned this in a couple previous videos of mine, and I have a video about the train stations here in Fairfield. There are three train stations on the Metro North train line that goes right into the city. And we also have an Amtrak stop in the city right next door in Bridgeport. Uh, super convenient for those commuting or trying to get to New York quickly. We're only an hour and 15 minute train ride. Um, but a previous video of mine, I'm gonna put the link below that if you are moving here and you need to commute to the city, uh, which isn't really happening a lot right now, but once we get back to our new normal, uh, you will need to get a parking pass. So really important to go on the fairfieldct.org website and apply for that once you move here because um, it is a waiting list depending on which train station you want to park at. Plus there's a wealth of information in there just about parking and the train. Number four, if you're moving here with pets, super pet friendly community. We have uh, leash laws here for your dogs. So if you walk your dog, you have to walk them on a leash and pick up after them. But we are fortunate enough to have two locations where dogs can go off leash from October 1st to March 31st. You can go to Jennings Beach and have your dog run around off leash. And also all year round, you could go to Lake Mohegan Cascade, which is a beautiful mile trail. Um, and they just have their dogs off leash there. It's a great community of pet owners that come there and walk their dogs. And the, the dogs just have a blast um, going on that trail. 
Also, I will refer to you to the website bringfido.com. Um, I'll put the link below. That is a great site that you can go to that will have other locations that are um, right on, outside of Fairfield that also you can bring to for off-leash experiences as well. But just know in the town of Fairfield, what I would do is go to fairfieldct.org and the Fairfield Recreation Department, and there's a link there to dogs and horses and all the rules there that apply to um, bringing dogs around town and also horses and the trails. The rules have changed a little bit at the moment due to CDC guidelines. Um, those will change frequently. So I would suggest going to that site before you bring your dogs out anywhere um, just to see what the new updates are. The fifth item you would want to know, and probably one of the more important ones, is where do you want to live within the town of Fairfield? There are 12 distinctively different neighborhoods in Fairfield. All have different characteristics and all have different price points. So that might be the first thing you look at is what is the median and average price range within these neighborhoods and how are the neighborhoods different? Their locations are different. Do you need to be near the train, center of town? Do you want to be near the beach? Do you want to be walkable or do you want more property? There are some areas of town that they're only on 0.11 acre of property. Uh, other areas are a quarter acre up to half an acre and in Greenfield Hill you can get two acres of property there as well, which means, of course, the price point would be a little bit higher because you have more property. Now in the current market, the beach area, the center of town, Southport, those areas are quite sought after. Um, much of that has to do with location. Many buyers want to be walkable to the train or to town, restaurants. Uh, active living styles. So uh, right now that seems to be the trend, although many other areas of town are just as active in the real estate market. So what I would do is I have um, previous videos I've done on particular neighborhoods. I'll put those links below. And um, I also have each neighborhood listed on my website as to how they vary um, from neighborhood to neighborhood. And the last item is research. This is where we all start on the internet, researching where we're going to move. I'm going to give you some, um, some tips about some social media sites and some websites that you should check out before moving here because they are a wealth of information. So if we're talking about Instagram, I would highly suggest go to Fairfield Moms. They post um, many of the community events, things happening in town, and they also advertise many of the small businesses here in Fairfield. Fairfield has quite a few entrepreneurs and small businesses and uh, they have a mantra here of doing it local and we do try to support as many small local businesses as we can especially now more than ever plus you can follow the town of fairfield the chamber of commerce uh, fairfield magazine talk of the town there's quite a few that you can follow in order to get more information about this community and then there's also facebook you can join some facebook groups that are local People give recommendations, they ask questions. It really will provide you more inside information than you're used to just looking on the internet or on websites. People will give you their personal experience, which is really great. And then there's a number of websites. You should go to fairfieldct.org. That is the town website, so it has some really great information for you. Another great website is experiencefairfield.org. Um, they have all the information you want to know about Fairfield. They have information about the arts, entertainment, dining, the schools, hotels that I go to frequently. And then two more websites I would highly suggest is neighborhoodscout.com. Highly suggest going to this one as well. You could just put in Fairfield, Connecticut and it will give you um, lots of statistical information, real estate, neighborhoods, demographics, crime rates, lots of information on this site. I also suggest niche.com. Um, that's a really great site, not only for the town, but for the schools. If you want specific school information and ratings on each school, that's another good source. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you are thinking about moving to Fairfield, reach out to me. If you have any questions, I would be happy to help. Just call, text, email anytime. I love what I do. So I would be happy to help you along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.